Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we will see how to make a layout of an inverter in the LEDIT software. For this, click on the LEDIT and a window will open. Now the window is open, go to the setup and the design. The design, choose on grid and choose this the major display grid to 0.25 micron and the minor display grid to be 0.125 micron. Choose the mouse grid to be smooth. Now on the cell view pull the plus button. Now this screen would be curved. Here the two black marks are shown has a dis distance of 0.25 micron that we have selected in the grid and this too has a distance of 0.125 micron. Now getting to the basics of an inverter we should common PMOS. Now the basic thing about the allied it is this white background behind is basically a P well, a P substrate. So we can easily form an N MOS in this substrate. But for PMOS we want an N substrate. For this we want an N well. Now in the left hand palette we see different layers for the layout. Here for the forming of the PMOS, first of all I want an anvil. Click on the anvil, this is the properties. Click on the drawing box and make an anvil. Now the next thing I want a P select layer for the PMOS. Click on the P select and draw P select. Now, for forming the PMOS, I want an active layer. For every transistor, we will need an active layer. Click on active and draw an active inside. Fine. This active is the basis of our transistor. This width is termed at the width of the transistor. Now, I want the gate of my transistor. For this purpose, click on poly and draw a box. This is not in the between, so for this purpose, we have a property. Hold Alt, assign will come, click on mouse and just drag it where you want to place it. Now, there are certain rules known as ERT, design rule check, to check whether our design is going to the proper rules or not. For this purpose, a DRC tool is here. Click on DRC and check whether the design we are making is right or wrong. Here, no errors are being displayed. That means we are going fine. If you see this poly, this distance is the length of the transistor and as we have already told this is the width of the transistor now we have formed an nmos now what we want we want this nmos or sorry pmos to be connected to the outside world for this purpose we need a metal layer in this design i'm just drawing i'm just extending the active layer I'm clicking on the active layer, holding the all button and just dragging it. This shine fine. Now I will go to the metal one layer. I click on the metal drawing boxes and I'll draw a metal layer. I'm running the DRC that whether I have done fine or not. This metabolic density error has been shown, we can ignore it. Now another thing, to connect this metal layer to the active, we need an active contact. The limitation on the active layer, active contact is that this should be 0.25 into 0.25 micron. To check the properties of any device or the any layer in the I edit, we click on that layer and press Ctrl E. 
on pressing the control E, we can see the width and the height of the layer of the active contact is 0 0.3, 0 0.8, but we want it to be 0.25. I change the properties from here. I am placing it on middle. I have made an active contact between the metal and the active layer. I am running the DRC again to check whether some no error is showing. We you know already have ignored this metal one density. Now we not need not to draw this metal one or the contact again. For this purpose, I am clicking on the cursor, selecting these two layers. Control C, Control V. With the help of Alt, I'm just dragging it to the other side. I made a P nose. Now, for the N mos purpose, I want the same transistor, but the difference would be instead of P select here, I would be using an N sex plane. I've just copied this. Control C, Control. Selecting again. Control C, Control V, dragging it downwards. Now to for the P MOS and MOS, I want an N select layer. Choosing, clicking on the N select layer, going to the drawing boxes. I made an N select layer. Run the DRT, no problem. Now, if we consider the layout of an inverter, the two gates are connected to each other. For this purpose, what I will do, I'll extend this poly to this poly. For this, click on cursor, select this, and this is placing it just beneath of it. Now it's proper. Now click on this poly. Hold the all button and just when this sign will come, this dragging sign, drag it to the downward. Now two poly are connected. That means the two gates are shorted. The next thing is the drain of this P mass is shorted to the source of this N mass. For this, I'm clicking on this metal one layer, holding the alt and dragging it. Connected. Now the basic diagram has been done. Drawing the DRC, no problem. Now, the basic thing that we do in the L editors, we want to form a VTD and ground. So, the basic rule for the forming of VTD is we want a metal layer, an active layer, and an N select layer. For this purpose, I'm just extending this metal, uh, this N will. Now, I'm choosing our active. I made an active contact. Now, next, the end select layer as I have already said. Run DRT. Everything is fine. Now I'll place some metal contact here. I'll just copy this one. No error to display. For the ground purpose, I'm just copying it again. Dragging it. As I already told, for the VGD, I want an insert layer. Similarly, for ground, I want a piece of clay. Now, so everything is done. Just we need to connect the connections. This is tracking downwards. 
fine. Now I'm just dragging it to here to the source of the image. Similarly, I drag this. The basic thing we have done. Trying to access. No errors to be displayed. Now, for accepting this layout, we need first of all pin. For this purpose, click to the drawing post and draw the port. We want this port to be VDD, click on here, select on material contact, port name, VDD. You can change the text size from here. For example, I'm taking a 0.5 micron text size here. A VDD has been defined here. I want this side to be input as I have made this contact on the poly, so I'll click the poly. Similarly, this is the output. I have made this point on the matter one layer, so I'm connecting on the matter one layer. The last part is the drum. On matter one layer. Now we have made a layout of an inverter. Hold the minus sign to zoom out and plus sign to zoom in. This is the basic inverter layout we have made. Now to check this, we want to export this file to the tanner where the spice file would be run. For this, we want to extract it. For this, go there and click on the setup extract. Click on this box. Click here on the browse option. Go to the libraries and where we have put the tanner execute. Go in here. I'll edit an LVS tag generic point to five matter generic point to five dot ext. This is the extraction file. And why, where I want to generate the spice file, I can browse it anywhere. For example, I want to browse it on the desktop. I save it. Okay. Extraction means the whole device structure or the something, everything would be come out. And clicking on the extraction. Now the extraction has been done. If I would click on the this extraction file. It would show the M1 and M2. One NMOS transistor and one PMOS transistor, whose length is 250 nanometer and width is 950 nanometer. So, this is all for today. In the next video lecture, we will see how to run the simulation on the T-Spice.